Hello guys, it is Gabe Hunt, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a igneous kind of rock. Now, it goes through a lot of stages, and after you're done, what you want to have is something like this. Now, what it is, is it's wax. Now, what's made by is some um, simple household items you would expect to find. All you need is some wax paper. You need a slice of wax paper. Not big, not too small. Something like this size will work. And you also need aluminum foil, which I'll get to that stage later. You need some crayons. Now, it only works for crayons. And if you cannot get crayons, then you're crap out of luck. Because crayons are one of the highly most things that is made out of. Well, it is the thing that's made out of. And what you want to do is you want to get your crown. And you want to peel it all the way. Now, I'm doing three of the same colors. You can do whatever three colors you want. Or as many as you want. But note that if you get more crayons, the bigger your wax I don't know what I'm paper has to be. It smells like burning wax. Yep, that's what it is. Real burner. Wax. Here? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Where? Yeah. It was burning, but then I got done. What are you doing? Recording something. Well, I need the computer after I get out of the show. Okay. Well, don't take a short shower. Because I'm going to need to figure out how to put this together. Okay. For my phone. You can. Later. Okay. And I'll see you and my mom in the background. Now it's common that you have a pencil sharpener. Now what you want to do is you want to get your pencil and your crown and you want to start sharpening. Sharpen it down to the thread. Holy crap. And put it on your wax paper. If it gets jammed, And I'm sorry. She always puts out a pair of scissors. I'm still trying to flip in paper. Paper. Like so, I just got mine jammed. Okay. Now, this stage of which we have the crown shavings is called sediments. Now, what you want with the sediments is for it to turn into sedimentary rock and there's only one way to do that that way is put applying pressure so you can use anything that is very hard and durable now you can use a textbook 
or you can use a roller. Now, I don't know the correct term for it, but I think it's a roller or flattener, whatever. But this is what it looks like. Now, I'm only using one col color, make it short. What you need is your wax paper. I mean, yeah, you need your wax paper and uh, and your aluminum. Now, what you want to do, get your aluminum over here. Yeah, aluminum. And you want to simply put your sediments on here. Now, what you want to do is you want to fold it. Fold it one way in half. And then on these sides, fold it once and fold it again. Switch around to the same thing. Now at the top, how it's wide open, you don't fold it twice. You want to fold it once. Now you can fold it twice, which I'm going to, but you also can fold it once. Then what you want to do is you want to take your roller, you just want to simply apply some pressure, trying to make the layers of this rock. And then afterwards, oh, oh crap, after you open it, you want to have something like this. What it is is the sediment are squished together. Now you want to fold it right back up and do that again. Now, you want to apply pressure one more time to make metamorphic. Now, I know it says metamorphic is made by heat and pressure. Right now, all you need is pressure. So, you want to fold it back, apply some more pressure, and here comes the fun part. Get it stuck. Tongs. And then simply you get a stove. A stove. Doesn't matter what type of stove, you take it by the tongs. Take it over to your stove, turn it on, and what you want to do is let it heat up. Now after it heats up, what you want to do is you want to progressively get more heat. So whenever you put it on it all kind of melt, but not fully. Now, this stage is also known as metamorphic. It is turning into metamorphic as we speak. There is a, a certain time limit, which is 30 seconds, but with a hot stove, it won't reach that. So you got to hold it for about a minute. Just a second. And what you want to do is you want to bring it back. You want to unfold it. Examine it. Now, it should be slightly melted, and if it's not, you need to retask. No, mine's not. So, you don't apply no more pressure. We've already done the pressure stage. Trust me. There's no more pressure. Get that folded. You need to go back to your stove. Now, if that don't work, if you don't want the first draw, sit it on hot. And after you do, you want to hold it out another minute. And here comes the doll. Oh, my mom just showing me two how to do this. I did one color for you. Wait a couple more seconds. Stop five more seconds. There we go. 
Now bring it back. Unfold it and then examine. It should be slightly melted after that point. Yeah. And then what you want to do is you Now after you have it slightly melted. Daddy. You want to get sort of a pie pan. So what you bake a pie in. You want to put your aluminum in it. What are you doing? More your frame on stuff? And you want to get it to simply have no air bubbles. Because if you have air bubbles, it will not melt properly, and then you will screw it up. <laughs> Just words of me. And you want something to mm -hmm. on. Now, as you're watching the crayon, as you're watching the crayon, you want to observe it melting. So you put it over here by the heat, and you got to watch it melt. Now, after a few seconds, if you don't have any air bubbles, it should start melting. But if it don't, then you obviously have air bubbles. Now, to get it to see if underneath of it is melting, you want to take a pencil. No matter what kind, it's a pencil. Except a lead pencil. That kind of stuff. And then you want to stir it around a little. And what you should come out with is whatever color you should have, if you have like three different colors, it should mix together and make a whole new color. And it should start melting and turning into a liquid. It shouldn't be a solid anymore. Now you should be taking notes. Who <laughs> makes? I'm the one teaching. Okay. And it should melt. A moth. And what else you should have is a, another material in the agenda. You want ice cold water. You can have ice cold or room temperature. If you want to have two, you can have that. And so, after it melts, you want to set it in that. So it'll cool down and you'll have metamorphosis. I mean, I'm almost done. I'm getting it to match. And so, what it should turn out to be. Oh, that's funny. Come on. If you get it all correct, it, sh it should be what's the word? igneous. Igneous rock. Intrusive igneous rock. Now, what I did is in when it turned out to be the metamorphic stage, I simply just broke it apart because breaking it apart would be simpler because the sediments are just back into its original platform. It'd be a lot easier to melt. Now if you didn't break it apart, the layers underneath they would melt. But how the layers have built up more strata, it wouldn't melt properly. Um, and if it melted properly, what you want to come out with is so much of a gooey stage. Now it look it looks like liquid, but how I use only one color, it's like liquid gold. And so what you want to do, come back, and you should have something near the sink, and you want to like ice cold water. Now you need your tongs. Pick it up or braid mom. Yeah, I do. Who's not scared of burning yourself, like my son is. And you want to simply grab it. Slowly move it towards the water. You don't want to submerge it in the water. You just want to simply let it sit. Okay. Yeah. Come on.
tank crab. You don't want to submerge it all the way in like where the water flows because then that will just ruin the whole process. And wait till it really freezes. And after it freezes, it sh should turn out into like a igneous sort of rock. Now what I showed you before we started this was the result from it. Okay, it's melting. I'm not melting. Now, after that happens, you will come out with say you mix red I know, red, green, and gray. It would should turn out with a brown kind of color. And then after that you should have brown hard substance. But how I only use one color, I'm coming out with a yellow. But that really burnt me. But yeah guys. After that happens, you want to come out with you know, so what do you do after that? An igneous. After that happens you just have it as an igneous and then you have it done. And that's how you make igneous rock from crayon sediment. And what was it like afterwards? It would look like you get the camera spot like on this. Should come out to be something like this. Now it should be glassy on one side and then a solid structure on the other. Now the reason it's glassy on that side is because it's more pressed or melted or hardened onto the aluminum foil, which gives it that glassy look. But guys, this is Gabe Hunt as always. Catch you later.